And thanks for staying with us. Let's now delve into that conversation surrounding the President's CSU um, certificate. We have joining us from Abuja studio, Right Honorable Ogene Imaigo, who is, um, was a member of the, um, of the House of Representatives and now a member of the ECOWAS Parliament representing Nigeria. Good to have you join us. Um, right Honorable Ogene Imaigo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you this last time. All right, thanks for joining us. So I, I wanted to start by asking you your overview um, of the controversy surrounding um, the president's CSU certificate and then um, his identity. Can you repeat that, please? I was going to get your thoughts um, on the controversy around the president's certificate and then his identity. Okay. Okay, thank you for having me. Um, if I got you right, you said you want me to speak on the controversy surrounding uh, uh, President Tidubu's uh, certificate. Well, uh, ordinarily, people should not be commenting on this because the matter is already in court and uh, enough evidence has been that there is a court which will help the court to decide, the Supreme Court to decide uh, whether the certificate is forged or not. But like uh, Ulisa Bakumba, SAN said, that people should refrain from unnecessarily uh, pushing their comment across to the Supreme Court, but allow the Supreme Court to decide. But be as it may be, because of the controversy, and having been invited for this interview, I want to say that I've read and listened to the statement of the registrar of CSU, which is Chicago State University, and he said it very clearly that the man who is president of Nigeria is a man who graduated from uh, uh, Chicago State University. When he was asked, why is he missing the name Mr. and Mrs.? He said, well, those mistakes happen. But that the final certificates addressed uh, to Tinubu be it Mr. That is an eternal uh, mistake. Now, that was not the only thing. If you look at BBC, BBC have come out with a report, and you know BBC are very authentic. And they've said very clearly that they have investigated, interviewed Chicago State University, listened to the registrar, and they can confirm that Bula Tiribu did not forge his certificate. Even the registrar said that the discrepancies was because Tinubu lost his certificate during the Nadeko days when he was fighting for democracy, and uh, he had to get another copy. And he said clearly that third parties, when you lose your certificate, that third parties can print a new one. But confirmed finally that the certificate that I've seen, that it is clear in their records that Bola Tinubu uh, graduated with distinction from Chicago State University. So I thought that should be uh, put an end to the controversy while we await the Supreme Court uh, to, to act because nobody, nobody is in a better position than the registrar of the university who is still alive, who have confirmed that he graduated from there, and BBC who has spent a lot of resources to investigate the certificate who says that the certificates were not forged. I want to believe that um, the certificates were not forged. So why do you think that um, both presidential candidates, that of the PDP and the Labour Party, seem to be hinging their arguments on this particular document? Um, do you think it's because they honestly believe that they have something to hold on to or that this is just politics? Well, I don't want to go into why the Labour Party and PDP uh, uh, argue the case. Naturally, in Nigeria, when a big IPAR a big pie like uh, the presidency, elections are done. It's always been our history that those who lost go to court. And uh, I want to think that uh, this is a continuation of that. Uh, but as is clear from what Chicago State University uh, Registrar said, who is the right person to speak officially on behalf of the university? The man graduated with honors from the university. And if you look at him, this is a man who worked as treasurer, the highest financial position in mobile oil, which is an American affiliate. If he did not have 
the genuine certificate. I'm not sure Bobby or I will take you in that position and promote him to the highest position. That's one. Two, he's been a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And his contribution on the floor of the House then are clear that this is a man who is intellectually endowed. Also, he's been a governor. And since he came in as a president, within a short time, we've read him talk, of course. And we know that the man is educated, he's good. So for people to say, oh, he's not educated, I'm surprised because the minimum qualification is just uh, uh, secondary school. So I think that uh, those who have done that is their right. And historically, this are the attitude in Nigeria. If people lose election, of course, they go to try to contest it in the hope that they win. And of course, the courts have done very well. In, uh, Zanf I mean, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in a couple of the states, you find that they have upheld the results. In Kano State, they've quashed the result of the governorship uh, election. The same thing happened in Kaduna State. And uh, close to us in Abuja here, uh, we also have a case like that. So the law courts have shown that they are not just ruling in favor of the ruling party. They are ruling, you know, according to the law. So let us be patient and allow the Supreme Court uh, to come out with their verdict. And, and, and that, that, that should happen in a matter of weeks as everyone awaits that. But let me ask you, because both presidential candidates have now held um, a press conference. First, it was Atiku who held uh, his press conference. Um, he called on other political parties, you know, to join him in doing that. And, you know, we saw how the presidential candidate of the Labour Party heeded to that call and also had a press conference. What do you make of the issues both presidential candidates raised in their press conferences? Okay. Yeah, can you repeat that again? Because it does you, What you make of the issues that um, both presidential candidates, that of the Labour Party and the PDP, raised in their press conferences? Oh, that the parties are claiming that the certificate is forged or what? Um, they raised several I'm sorry, issues. The, um, <laughs> I was asking you about what you make your thought on the press conferences that was held by both presidential candidates. The line is not clear. Yeah, I'm having a Hello? challenge, you mm -hmm. know, in, in here. In, I don't think you can hear me clearly. So we'll just take a break. When we we'll return, we will continue um, the conversation. Stay with us. And thanks for staying with us. We are still talking about the controversy around um, the CSU certificate of the presidency and the issues that the Labour Party and the PDP are raising concerning it and how the APC and the presidency are also responding to this uh, matter. We're still joined by Right Honourable Ogene Imaego, a member of ECOWAS Parliament, the former House of Reps member. He's joining us from Abuja studio. Um, Honourable Ego, I was asking you earlier what you make of the press conferences held by both the Labour Party presidential candidate, Atiku, and then Peter Obi of the Labour Party. Not that clear, but if, if I can understand what you are saying. Uh, now, what do I say about the press conference called by the two other parties? I want to say that the parties have a right to call a press conference to put down their position. Um, but the opposition, you know, is clearly contradicted by the registrar of the university, which is uh, Caleb Westerberg, you know, who said that the certificate issued to Tinubu is a genuine one. And that because the certificate was lost, third parties are allowed to print the copy, provided it conforms with the information that is in the first certificate, and that he graduated uh, with distinction which the BBC also collaborated. You know, so I think that they are trying to exercise their right in law uh, to, to put their case forward after all the cases before the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court and the final arbiter. So 
they tried their luck, but the information we have uh, is quite clear that uh, President Tinubu graduated from that university. That's In his press that. conference, the, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter, Peter Obi, um, insisted that the president should address um, the country on this matter just to clear all doubts. Um, do you agree with that assertion that the president should actually um, address this issue? All right, there also seem to be um, some, some difficulty here. We, we might have to just let, the, let uh, Mr. Eric, Honorable Ego go because he can barely hear me. Um, we'll end the conversation here. Thank you so much, Honorable Ego, for um, coming. It just said that we, we're not, you're not able to hear me clearly, and so you can answer my questions. But thank you so much for coming. Hopefully, we can have this conversation um, rescheduled under better circumstances. Let's take a break. When we return, we'll have um, other stories. Stay with us.